for your final project, you will need to create sheets for each of your floor plans, elevations, and then you'll also do some for your 3D renderings. So let's take a look at the workflow to do that. The first thing that you'll notice in your project browser is that there are already several sheets in the project. So here's my sheets category. If I click the plus to expand them, there are several sheets there. Some already have views in them, some do not. I'm going to want you to delete all of these sheets and create your own. So I'm going to click on the first sheet here in the list, scroll down to the last, hold the shift key and click on the last one, and then just simply press delete. And that will get rid of all the sheets for you. So as you can see now, there is no plus next to the sheets. So there are no sheets at all in this particular project. So our next step is to create some sheets. So to create new sheets, it's just as simple as right-clicking on the Sheets category and choosing New Sheet. Then you have to choose a template to begin with that has a title block. We're going to be using the D size 22 by 34 horizontal on each one of these. So I'll choose that size and click OK. And I've got a new sheet here. If I click the plus next to the Sheets category, I can see that it has a, a number of E5 and it's unnamed. So I'm going to right-click on that and choose Rename. And now I can adjust the numbering, so I'm going to start with 01 for my floor plan, first floor that is, and then I'll go ahead and name it first floor plan, and click OK. One of the things that's neat about using these templates is, as you can see, it automatically fills in the title block, and then you can adjust the other information as well. To create a view of the drawing, it's just as simple as dragging and dropping. So I'm going to take my first floor plan over here from the browser and drag and drop it onto my paper and click to place it to center it. So as per the instructions, you should be using quarter inch equals a foot. If for some reason that doesn't fit for you, you need to let me know and so we can talk about an alternative scale. I have to change the scale if you needed to, if I go back to the first floor plan, we use the scale drop down in the bottom of our screen. Another thing that you will need to do on your floor plans for your final drawings is first of all if you have any floor textures in here like the wood floor you've got to remember to use the VV or VG shortcut to bring up visibility graphics and turn off the floors pattern as has already been done here. So make sure you remember that. You also need to turn off any elevation or section indicators. So I'm going to grab one of these section indicators here and I'll right click hide in view category. Same thing for these elevation markers. Right click hide in view category and that will get rid of the rest of them from the same category there. And let me switch to uh, a new sheet. So once more, I'm going to do a new sheet. And I'm going to use the D size again. And then I'll rename this one second floor plan. As you can see, it continued the numbering from the first one there. And then again, I'm just going to drag and drop the second floor plan on here. And the thing that I want you to see on this one is not only will you have to hide all of the little elevation and section markers, but you also need to hide in any furniture that's not built in. So for your renderings, you were to furnish at least a couple of areas so that you can create 3D renderings. Uh, one example is this office. So if I go back to my second floor, I can just I can hide by category or I'm just going to select all of these at once and use my EH element hide keyboard shortcut to get rid of all those. So kitchen stuff remains, any appliances, built-ins, that sort of thing, but any freestanding furniture needs to be taken out of your floor plan. Remember when you hide, it's only per view, so they'll still show up in your 3D renderings. So other views you will need to create, you're also going to need your elevations. So I'm going to right-click Sheets and do another new sheet. And then again, I can right-click and rename it and my plan is to put at least one elevation. I'm hoping I can fit two. So on your projects, 
If you can fit two elevations per sheet, that's ideal, north and south on one and east and west on another. So I'll call this north-south for now, and we'll see if I can fit them both on here. Now again, I'm just going to click and drag to drop these. So there's my north. It might be tight, but I can probably fit it if I go back to the original view. And hide this elevation marker with an EH. Switch back to my north-south elevations. And it'll be tight. I might be able to fit them both on here. Doesn't look like they're going to fit. So in this particular case, I'm going to do one per sheet. So I'll go back and center this and rename my sheet accordingly, either for the north or south elevation. Uh, typically on the projects that we do, students usually are able to fit two views per sheet. But on the tutorial view, since we have the basement and the second floor and a tall roof, or unable to do so. So I will accept it either way, one ele elevation per sheet, or if there's room, you can put in two elevations per sheet. Now the last sheet that I'm gonna need uh, is a sheet of rendering. So I'm gonna right click and do a new sheet, and again, choose the same template here. And you should have already created your renderings. You should have a category of renderings in your browser, and you can simply drag and drop these renderings into your drawing. So there's my exterior, my kitchen, and my office. Now they come in at whatever size they were rendered. You can adjust them though. The way that you adjust them is select the image. And then up here on the ribbon, choose activate view. Now if I click on the image again, I can click and drag the sizing handles to increase the size of your image. Then when I'm done, I'll right click my mouse and deactivate view. So the one thing you want to watch out for is in doing this, your image may become a little blurrier or pixelated. And again, I'll right click and deactivate view. So again, you can do that on each one, activate them, resize them, and then right click and deactivate view. So I don't have any particular rule on the size of your renderings. I just want to see three on a sheet, one is exterior and two are interior. So that is a summary of the sheets that we're going to need in the final project. Again, each floor plan, uh, I did first floor and second floor. I should have also done a basement but left it out for time sake. And then also any elevations, north, south, east, and west. Uh, put them on the same sheet if you can. Otherwise, each one on their own sheet is acceptable as well. And then finally, a sheet of renderings.